Hey friends, it's Emma. Welcome back to my channel, and today I am doing the Fact Tales Challenge. Chloe's going to be giving clues to her celebrity is brought up. I'll have to answer. Okay, so let's start. But before we do, you can watch the new Inside Out movie that is available in any cinema. So get your tickets. So how many are we doing? About 15. 15, okay. Okay, so let me have a think. Any moment. Okay. Okay, so here's the first clue. She was born September 21st, 1989. Who is it? Who was born on September 21st, 1989? Okay, here's the set. I'm going to give you three clues. So that's the first clue. So the second clue is, she did Irish dancing before her, before her first career. I don't know. This is impossible. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Alright, this is the last clue. Oh gosh. So... Oh, I think I got it. Was she on The Masked Singer? Yes, she was. Zombie. Yes, but... You know, why don't you just say You can't just expect me to say the answer. Come on, Emma. I met her! Yeah, Emma Watkins. She met her in Melbourne in April. She won't stop talking about it. Yeah, I thought it was like... It was... I have to say, it's probably gonna, it's probably going to be an unforgettable moment. Yes, and she will never stop talking about it. Like she won't stop talking about a lot of things. Okay. So let me have a think now. Next one is another obvious one. I know it. Let me have a think. And you didn't tell me when she was born. And you've never told me when she was born or that she did Irish dancing. So how was I even meant to figure that out? That's impossible. Irish Irish dancing was a clue in a clue package for Mars Singer. A doll. Like the elves dancing. You're looking some clues up. Okay. Might be easier. Let me have a think. <laughs> okay, here we go. duo. So, they were born March 11th, 1979. This, this, famous, this famous duo are known for being in the rock band Good Charlotte. What? I've never heard of that band. And, yeah, so, yeah, another clue. One of them is married to Cameron Diaz. And here is a even bigger clue. They, oh. they used to be, they were coaches on the Voice Kids Australia 2014. See, madam. Got it. Yeah, ben, Benji is the one who's married to Cameron Diaz. Ah, oh, that makes sense. I thought, who is this duo? Yeah. Normally, now I know as the Madden Brothers. I knew that too. 
Uh, yeah, I just don't know which one's older, Benji or Joel. They're twins. They have to be the same age. Yeah, but like, ha- like, like, who was born earlier in the day? I might even look it up afterwards. Okay, here we go. This this band formed in 1995. They they are an they are an American vocal group and boy band formed in or, in Orlando, Florida. The Jackson Five? No. In sync. I had a split second. Wait, is it Jackson Five or In Sync? And so I don't ever think I didn't think of NSYNC. Okay. Okay. So, this singer um, was born January 28, 1980. He's an American singer at, and as of 2015, he has released three solo albums, which were, which are Now or Never, I'm Taking Off, and All American. And he has done collaborations with Jordan Knight titled Nick and Knight. Yeah, I don't know. You have a clue. He, he's a member of the Backstreet Boys. Uh, 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 Nick Carter? Are all these clues going to be about celebrities from who, from bands from the nineties or or actual bands? No. Hmm. Should I buy that? Okay. Here we go. So this. So this singer was born January seventh, nineteen seventy nine. He, he, he is an American singer, rapper, and musician. He is known. He's best known. He is best known for Avicii's twenty thirteen single "Wake Me Up." Oh, which peaked and chart, which peaked the charts in twenty two countries, including Australia and the UK. Obviously, it landed in the charts of Australia. It's a big song. Yeah, he, yeah. He he is married to Australian rapper Maya Jupiter, and his real name is Egbert Nathaniel Dawkins the third. Oh, what's his name? Ah, who is in, who is singing the song? I do know the song. I mean, it's really good. Like, I've heard it everywhere. Who sings it though? Ah! <laughs> oh, this is impossible. Who sings it? Just say it. Hello, Black! I don't even know who he is. You don't even know his song, I Need a Dollar? No. I know Wake Me Up. Yeah, he sings in that Wake Me Up, you goat. Um, let me have a think now. Who do you think she's going to pick? Any moment. It's gonna be another singer. I know it. Okay, here we go. Okay, so she's an American actress and producer. She's the recipient of various accolades, accolades, I think, including an 
an Academy Award, a Primetime Emmy Award, and two Global Globe Awards. Hmm. She has she has um she starred in many movies such as what such as Fit Here, yeah? The Morning Show, Walk the Line, Legally Blonde, Reese with a Spoon. The second I heard Legally Blonde, that's when I knew. <clears throat> they have heard the mo- about that she was on the morning show because, like, I've heard, tr- I've seen trailers of it a lot back in twenty twenty one. And she was also in the Sing film series. Yes, she was. That's that was like one of our favorite animated movies growing up. Move on my net door. <laughs> or the ballet scene in the second movie. That's by far my favourite scene. It's so funny. Okay. We also love our Inside and Out. I just saw the second movie last night and it is so good. Okay. So, it, here's another American actress. Okay. She's also a singer and songwriter. Hmm. She began acting at 15 with, with recurring roles as Lucy Montgomery in the CBS soap opera As the World Turns and Joni Stafford in the ABC soap op- opera All My Children. Both operas. Oh. And she's also starred... She has also starred in Dear John... Amanda Seyfried? She was, also, she was also Karen in Mean Girls. Another one of my favourite movies. And she also played Sophie in Mamma Mia. Oh, yes, she did. Who can forget that? Mm. That movie came out when the year I was born. Mm. And then the second movie came out like 10 years afterwards. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Uh. So, here we go. She was a British and Australian singer and actress. She was a four-time Grammy Award winner whose music career included 15 top 10 singles, including five number one albums, I think. Who is it? Five number one singles on the Billboard Hot 100 and two number one albums on the Billboard 200. Known for If You Love Me, Let Me Know, Have You Never Been Mellow, like 11 of her single, and oh. Just You Kick It Off For You. She starred in Grease. Olivia Newton John. You forgot, hopefully, you forgot Hopelessly Devoted to You and Xanadu. Oh, yeah, Xanadu is a classic from her. Fun fact, Melanie Thornton sang that song on, as Mirabel on The Masked Singer in her first performance, which happened at the perfect time, even considering what happened to Olivia. So that song, so she was, so you could say that her singing that song was doing Olivia justice. R.E.P. Yeah, you know, yeah. Yeah, Olivia Newton-John, we loved you. Yeah, I love Grease. It is such a good movie. Then why don't you apply for a musical one day? I might be a dancer for Grease. Not. I might be an actress. Yeah, we're both going to be actresses soon. We're going in our drama classes next term. Yeah, for, yeah, for eight weeks though. But it's fine. Yeah, but still... No matter after, yeah, 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 yeah. No matter after that, after we after we do the drama classes, we're still going to be actresses since we've acted. Okay. So now she now this one's very famous. This one. Oh. Yeah. So she's known for her vers- vers- uh versatility and accent adaptability. She has been described as the best actress of her generation. She starred in, um, she, starred, she also starred in Mamma Mia. She's also been in uh, Little Women. 
She's also been in Mary Poppins Returns. Oh, oh, wait, uh, ah, Emily Blunt? No. Oh, oh, Lily James? Mm mm. Ah! She's also sad for Into the Woods. Anna Kendrick? Nah, you don't know. Come on! Oh, Meryl Streep. There! What do you mean she was in Mary Poppins Returns? I don't, I don't know who she played, but still. Oh, she played Topsy. She played Topsy in that movie. I still haven't watched the movie yet. I've only watched the original. It's really good. Oh my god, yeah. I love the first Mary Poppins movie. <laughs> Take My Time was so funny in Mary Poppins. Yeah, it was really good. Okay, so let me have a think. Please make it easy. Okay. So she's an English actress, singer, and author. She she has garnered numerous accolades throughout her career, spanning over eight decades, including an Academy Award, a BAFTA Award, two Emmy Awards, three Grammy Awards, and six Gold Globe Awards, as well as three nominations for three Tony Awards. I was thinking Emma Watson because she is British, but I don't know how long she's been acting, so... Yeah, she has star... She has starred in uh, Aquaman. Vic- Wait. Victor slash Victoria. She's also been uh, Princess Diaries, C- Roger Hamstein's Cinderella, Tooth Fairy, Shrek 2, oh. Sound of Music. I'm thinking Mandy Moore because she was in the Princess Diaries. Anne Hathaway? Oh, wait, does she sing? Anne Hathaway. I think she kind of does, but you're getting close. Oh, oh, Brandy Norwood? Oh, wait. No, that's not right, is it? No. Um. <laughs> you don't know? I asked for an easy one! She's very famous for Sound of Music, Emma. You don't know? Let me think. Oh, wait. Oh, I remember. Aquaman. Amber Hood? No. Oh, come on! You don't know? No, I, I give up. Seriously, Emma! It's Julie Andrews! <sighs> I didn't even know she was an Aquaman. I, I, come on, can't be too hard on me. So how many have we done? I don't know. Like nine? Okay, so we have six more left. Okay. Here we go. He is an American songwriter, actor, singer, filmmaker, rapper, and libertist. He he created the Broadway musicals In the Heights and Hamilton. It's definitely and, not Harry Styles. And the soundtracks for the animated films Moana, Vivo, and Encanto. And Encanto. Lynn Miranda? You got it! Lynn Manuel Miranda. Now that was pretty easy. I do know that he was involved with the whole Moana thing. I heard it's getting the second movie. Am I going to see it considering I'm obsessed with the Moana movie? Maybe. Okay, next on. Okay, let me have a think.
Okay. So here we go. So so this is an American singer, songwriter, dancer, actress, <gasps> and television personality. Kenzie? No. Oh, come on! She is a former member of the pop group and dance ensemble, the Pussycat Dolls. Melanie Thornton. Getting close. Nicole Scherzinger? Yeah, I think she's the... I think she was the lead singer of the Pussycat Dolls. Was it Melanie Thornton a lead singer as well? Because of, like, her voice and everything? Um... I think... I, yeah, I think it was Nicole and Melody. That would make sense. And plus, Nicole is a team of personality. She was on The Masked Singer US, and she was also in the... On the X Factor UK as a judge in 2019. Yeah, but she's not a Mars singer anymore. <laughs> but Rhea's replaced her. Wonder who she's guessed right. She guessed um, Vanessa Hudgens right. Vanessa Hudgens won the Mars singer season 11, by the way. Good for her. And the runner up was Gumball, who was Scott Porter. But they and they and Vanessa and Scott actually have a connection. They did a movie together called Band Slam. Never heard of that one. Okay, let me have a thing. Please be easy. I mean, the second you said Pussy Cat Dolls, it became a little bit too easy. Okay, so this is the tenth or eleventh one. Possibly 11th. Yeah, 11th one. Okay. So, this person was featured in over 100 advertisements and had minor roles in television and theatre. She, she achieved mainstream success as, as Manny Fitzpatrick in the Disney Channel teen sit, sitcom The Sweet Life of Zach and Cody. What's her name again? The character. Yeah. Manny Fitzpatrick. Ashley Tisdale. Wait, she wasn't on the Sweet Life on next. She was on the Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. I literally said Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, you goose. I did not say Sweet Life on deck. I thought you did. Oh, and she even played Candace in Phineas and Ferb. She also played Sharpay Evans in High School Musical. Probably one of her most famous roles. Yeah. And she was also a and she was also a panelist on The Masked Dancer. Oh yeah, she got Kenzie right. Yes. And she agreed with Paula Abdul and and she got uh Exotic Bird right who was uh Jordan Sparks. And who's Jordan Sparks? She's the youngest person to ever win American Idol. She even did a song with Guy Spashin called Out of Love. Oh wait, I've heard of that. I know that song because as that song was sang in the battles in 2022 on The Voice. Oh, boy, did that lead to a crazy place? Yeah, so let me have a think of the next person. Well, you know what I mean when I say that, right? Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, so... <sighs> Sorry, I'm a little tired. Yeah. Something really good last so, night. So, this actress <gasps> is very famous for being in A Wrinkle in Time, A Wrinkle in Time, and Girl Meets World. Ron Blanchard. Yes. I, I think we can all agree that she's known best for Girl Meets World. Yeah, she plays Riley in that show. She plays the lead role... Yeah, and I think she plays Veronica in a, in a Wrinkle Time. Oh, uh, yes. She played Meg's enemy. Yeah, isn't she the bully? Hmm. I have to say, Rowan did a really good job playing Veronica. Even though we didn't get to see as many scenes from her, you know? And we mm-hmm. didn't get to see why she was the way she was at the start of the movie. You know? Okay. And yeah, she was also 
Yeah, she was in Gelmi 12 with a few famous people, including the one and only Sabrina Carpenter, who I may add, FYI, our older sister and I were listening to her music the whole time we were at the gym yesterday doing workouts. Okay. It was like my first time ever working out in the gym and it was so fun. Okay. So, this next actress, she's very known for playing. Oh. She was in another Cinderella story. Um, she was. She also starred in a Bad Neighbors Sorority Ri- Neighbors Two Sorority Rising. Um. Ow. Oh. And also very known for Wizards of Waverly Place. Oh wait. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm thinking Selena Gomez or something. Oh, yep. I think one left. Maybe. Oh, uh, Selena was also in one of Chloe's favorite animated movies. Oh yeah, Hotel Transylvania Two. <laughs> Hotel Transylvania Two is by far the funniest Hotel Transylvania movie. Right, Emma? One of them. I think they're all funny. The funniest part of all is definitely the iconic line, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah, she, she was also in uh, Doolittle Rob, with Robert Downey Jr. Oh, yes. Yeah, and she played uh, Betsy. Which animal was that? Because I know she played an animal. Yeah, I think... Betsy was... was um, I think Betsy was. I think Betsy was a giraffe. Hmm. Oh my god, I loved Dude Little. It was so good. Yeah, it was even better than I anticipated. What was your favorite part of it? It was when the dragon farted. <laughs> <laughs> Yours was definitely when the flamingo kept bumping into the armor. Oh, you mean the emu? <laughs> Okay, I think both um, of those were my favorite. <laughs> Maybe also the squirrel. That was also really funny. Yeah, Robert Downey Jr. He's a genius actor. He was also in um, the Avengers film series. Yes, he was. In Avengers. He played Iron Man. Speaking of, Iron Man, Spider-Man, Superman. <laughs> okay, this is the last one. So he's an English and American actor. Oh, oh wait, he's not American. I was thinking James Gordon or something. It was English and American. So he has received various accolades, including a Tony Award, a BF, BAFTA TV Award, and a Golden Globe, in addition to nominations for a Primetime Emmy Award, a Lawrence Oliver Award, and two Academy Awards. Oh, he's very he's very known. Oh, here we go. For playing, for being in The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Andrew Garfield. Yep. I think that's all of them. Done and dusted. Basically, almost all of these celebrities are singers. Which, are you going to play this game at home? Let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you soon.